This is gate 2016 set to electrical question number 13. A power system with two generators is shown in the figure below. The system that is generators, the buses and the transmission line is protected by 6 over current relays R1 to R6. Assuming a mix of directional and non-directional relays at appropriate locations, the remote backup relay for R4 is being asked. Four options are given. For NPTEL reference, you can refer to lecture number 21, Coordination of Overcurrent Relays for Distribution Network Part 1 of the NPTEL course, Digital Protection of Power System by Professor B. R. Bhalja, Department of Electrical Engineering, IIT Roadhi. The property of a directional overcurrent relay is that the fault current must be greater than the threshold current and must be in a particular direction like for example if this is the current that is fault current through this relay and the relay direction is this then the relay will not operate the relay will operate only if the direction of the fault current matches the direction of the directional over current relay and is greater than the threshold value so this is the working principle of a directional over current relay and now coming to the solution six relays are given here now these relays are intended for the protection of the zone after this bus that is the generator bus so if any fault occurs here that will be taken care by the generator protection so now if you see R1, R3, R6 these three relays will see currents in one particular direction only that is this, this and this so there is no need of directional element so current can flow both ways actually through these relays these relays will operate if the current exceeds the threshold value but if you see if a fault occurs here midway between this feeder line then the relay 2 will see a current in this direction similarly if a fault occurs here the relay 4 will see a current in this direction and if a fault occurs here the relay 5 will see a current in this direction so relay 5 4 and 2 are directional relays relay 2 relay 4 and relay 5 and remaining are non-directional relays now if relay 4 fails to operate then you, that is also the primary relay for this zone even if relay 3 operates the fault is not isolated because the fault can persist through this way and also it can persist by this way from S1 and S2 so to isolate this fault the backup relay should operate the current contribution by s2 for a fault at this point that is between r3 and r4 is in this direction so relay 5 cannot operate similarly relay 2 also cannot operate for a fault at between r3 and r4 because the current is in this direction during that condition but r2 is directional relay so r1 can operate and r6 can operate and can provide backup to r4 in this condition so the backup relay for r4 are r1 and r6 r1 and r6 are the backup relays option d is the correct option thank you